Following the successful holding of the election of all tiers, we have entered into the second cycle of democratically elected government under the federal system. We are aware that foreign investment requires a stable political environment. Now we are in a position to assure you of, you of the continuity and stability in policy. The present government is firmly committed to deliver economic dividends of democracy to the people. For that, it has a clear vision and strategy, strong commitment and strong support of the people. Our objective is to translate the people's aspiration for peace, stability and prosperity into reality. Nepal has been pursuing a business and investment friendly policy. We have made major reforms in our investment regime that encourages promotes and protects foreign direct investment. Our tax slabs are one of the lowest and our position is fairly good in ease of doing business. Investment in any sector is profitable in our country given the nascent stage of our industrial development. Profitable areas of investment include hydropower, industrial manufacturing, infrastructure development, tourism, agriculture, minerals, and mining, among others. Our laws permit full repatriation of income and earn from the investment. Foreign companies registered in Nepal can purchase, own, and sell land. No discrimination is made between national and foreign investor. There is no policy of nationalization of private industry. The other factor that makes business competitive in Nepal is the availability of a less expensive workforce, reformed labor laws, and improved industrial relations. We are seriously working on further simplifying the procedures and fully operationalize the one-stop service. Necessary rules are being developed for the automatic approval of EFDI as well. As you all know that Nepal aspires to become a middle-income country by 2030 and graduate from LDC status by the end of 2026. We need significant investment in infrastructure development and maximize utilization of technology to meet this target. We count on Chinese investment in filling our financial and technological gaps in our priority area. We stand ready to offer all legitimate assistance to Chinese companies interested in investing in Nepal. After the painful period of COVID, pandemic, our economy is recovering gradually. However, challenges still persist. Tourism sector suffered a lot during the pandemic. We welcome Chinese tourists to Nepal as China lifts the restriction on outward mobility. China's listing of Nepal as a priority destination for Chinese tourists will have a salutary impact on our tourism industry. Dear friends, there exist various bilateral mechanisms between our two government as well as the non-governmental sector. We have signed agreement and MOU on trade, investment, tourism and others. Your growing people-to-people -people contact is yet another feature of our increasing engagement. Considering all these facts, I see great potential for an enhanced level of economic engagement.